part of my curiosity of, of, of exploring over here is I I kind of remember a Leviathan being over here. Alright, I found him. That's all I wanted to know. He is over here. Oh my Jesus. Was good. My foolish, you more time for the rebecca was foolishness on this subnautica below zero. Yes, finally, after months of sitting on my hard drive since January, <laughs> I finally decided to say, sit down and say, you know what? Enough is enough. Get this edited and get this done. So honestly, the only reason it has been sitting for so long, I mean, you know. Life throws its little koi balls and you gotta deal with that, you know, stuff stuff of that nature. But this, this this is my second favorite survival game of all time. First, of course, being Subnautica, which I wanted to do this one right after that, but had a lot of stuff to deal with. Um, and um, this one kind of got lost lost in all that. But um, I'm, I'm happy to come back and say, sit down and finally be like you know what enough is enough we just sat on it long enough get it out there because this one's great i love it and the only reason it's number two is because it's shorter than the first one now first one being as beautiful and the last phobia few nightmare that it was for me it was still great love it i love it. I just, mm. the way they created this game the way it looks Subnautica in general is just beautiful. I'm not saying it's the most, the most. It's not the perfect survival game, but to me, it's kind of like hit everything on the head. Like they, they do a pretty good job. And then turn around with this one, mm, even more beautiful, even just the creature designs, level, all that is just beautiful. It's just smaller, it's shorter. Which, you know, is man, whatever, you know. So, like I said, this one was I recorded early January, I want to say. So some of the stuff might be outdated, like reaching 100 subscribers or something like that, which we already did. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I love every single one of you, baby. Um, and I mean, whatever else might cut out, just. just just understand when this was recorded. This is very, very, very old. So, um, I'm not going to sit here, hold it up any longer. I'm just going to go ahead and get into it, get get the, get the editing, get the diving into this. I can't wait to play this all over again. I've only played this one once, and it was still such a beautiful experience. Like, something I kind of played like 700 times. So, this the second playthrough for me is is gonna be fun because I don't remember a whole lot about it. I do but I don't you know you know how it is, you know how it is. but anyway if you guys do enjoy remember leave a like comment subscribe come join the family come join the game man I, I really do appreciate everybody that shows the support continue to stop by show love I really I really do appreciate you I do hope you are blessed fruitful I'm grateful I present to you some Naraka below zero. Ah, here we are. Back on oh, this godforsaken planet. But now it's cold. It's still dark. I'm still alone. And we got a whole new adventure in front of us. I done jibber jabbing enough. So we gonna get straight to it I have not played this since last summer where I took my precious time and it was a whole lot of fun it was a whole lot of fun so real quick just like I did in the first one I'm gonna show you guys my first base I ever built and then we gonna dive straight into our new adventure
like you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me. And Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Approaching 45, 46 feet. Surface temperature is Drop pod deployed. It might not seem like that to y'all, but it is extremely loud right now. Jesus Christ, I forgot how crazy this is. Just starting off. Now I know there's a bunch of goodies around here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up. Yeah, yeah, open PDA. Oh yeah, I forgot. That is a thing. <laughs> In this one. Oh god. Oh my god. Where's uh where's uh where's uh where's the thing? Where's the thing? Where's the thing? You yeah, I need you. Ah, yes, yes, please. Alright, I'll finish getting my goodies. Alright, so the last AI voice, whatever, name was Linda. I'm gonna call this one. Marjorie. Her name's Marjorie. <laughs> From, uh, y'all have ever seen I'll Be Home for Christmas? One of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. Oh, Marjorie. Oh, Marjorie. I'm out here just singing and having a good time while there's just absolute chaos going on around me. Jesus effing Christ. All right, let's focus in. Focus in. We got a job to do. Mokes, that did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. You, you want to go to the water? There is one way. Ah, man. <laughs> oh, I've got goosebumps. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, like I said in the intro, this series is going to be just a wee bit different and I'm not going to try to stuff so much into just one episode one part so I'm definitely going to stretch it out um, sorry about that something this whole bunch of craziness just happened just all at once but uh as I was trying to say this series is going to be a little different I'm not going to try to stuff everything into one I thought I heard something else. <laughs> I'm not trying to stuff everything into one episode. Um, I will be doing a deep dive into this game, but not too deep. Not even seeing, because we just, I mean, it's pretty much the same as some that, because like, I'll, I'll cover the new stuff. Hey guys, I'll cover most of the new stuff, but everything's pretty much still the same. Fabricating, finding stuff, building stuff. I mean, it's not really that much different. And away we go! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, 
man, I gotta find everything again. Copper. What the F was that? I gotta find literally everything again. Bullseye shrimp. Ah, so beautiful. It's Oxygen. Thank you, Marjorie. Oxygen. It definitely is more vibrant. Like it, it for real, for real is. All right, you guys are so cool. But it definitely like it's just more colorful, shiny. It's really something. I I love how they did this one. I really do. And I can't wait to see what they do with the third one. Yeah, I know I'm at the drop ship stuff, but I'm exploring, you know. Aren't these good for me to eat? Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Thanks, March. Ah, I got it. All Terra supply cash nearby. What? Well, Handy vet. Found the drop pod. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know. It didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Yeah. Notice of death. Dear Mrs. Elu, on behalf of Zeta Landon, 4546B Robotic Session Leader in Indra Cormac, President of Altera TransGov, I regret to inform you of the death of Samantha Ayo. She died on Planet 4546B, regrettably as a result of injuries sustained in an accident arising from her own negligence. Please allow me to communicate the most profound condolences for the loss of your sister. While further details are unavailable at this time, you will receive contact from the Department of Insurance and re re <sighs> Resuscitation. Concerning your responsibilities as next kin with regards to repayment of damages and legal fees. If you have any questions, you may file from y Y7YSSSU49U2K and your query will be addressed in sequential order. Sincerely, Emmanuel Diazadens, 4546B Communications Liaison Otara Transco. Yeah, it just sounds like your typical business bullshit. When something happens and they're like, still basically worried about the business besides you and your family and your feelings. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm going to play these and uh, I'm going to just be doing some gathering while they play. Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real world stress conditions. Listen. I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. <laughs> I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. <laughs> potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tubers nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. 
And well, I... Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower's as easy to spot as Lil said. New creature discovered. Should be able to use this. <laughs> and, oh, that's right. There's weather in this. That's the crazy thing. It rains. While you're already in the frick fracking ocean of death and terror. Gotta love it. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. Well, so yeah, we're going to have a little bit more than that. So, uh, don't die. Oh, beat yourself up too bad. You know what I'm saying? We are going to be okay. I didn't mean to play that one either. It just so happened to pop, pop up when I pressed the, the touchpad. Four five four six B to Robin. Come in, Robin. Oh, wait, my name is Robin. She's saying. Remember when we used to play old timey space explorer? This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, all terrorizing me. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian and hello to spy penglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. I know it's not like me to just find a date, let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably not even a real thing, but anyway, um, I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xeno working, though. I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you, getting to work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. Yeah, I, I sort of forgot what happened to, to Sam. I didn't mean to call myself Sam. I was uh, thinking of something else. But man, I completely forgot about those spy pickles too. Because they are a treat. They're actually fun to use. I just remembered those. It's crazy. Oxygen. Yeah, I don't even know where my thing is. All right. Let us store the next one. Hey, Robin. I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky potato. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way. A cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my penguins found something. Something big. But Altera is just like... Nothing to see here. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead, bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job, my safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. Guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. Yeah, thanks, big sis. Hey, Robin. I'm sorry my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, 
and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this. I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, anyway, I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said, but um, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. I'll just make me one waterproof locker so I could have it for food, but and it's ready. Hey, Robin. I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. The cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> Sorry, bad attempt at a joke. I, I just, I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen Leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly, dangerous, but, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. Oxygen. Yeah. Uh, it gets crazy. Oh my god. So remember, this happens after the heroin cures, or, you know, the, uh, basically cures this planet. And it is a little trippy to to to, to think um, that this frozen leviathan that they I've been looking for a peeper for so long. You're like New the best discovered. food source to have. Gosh, dig it. Oh, now y'all just want to pop up everywhere. All right, all right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But um, yeah, it uh. To, to think somebody c uh, could use. Uh, I want to make a. Uh, excuse me? I need a rubber. I need to go to get creep mine. That's what I need. I think I saw some over there. To, to, just to think somebody's going to use. <laughs> the Quran for a biological weapon is crazy because it devastated the first game. I mean, it changed everything. Okay, I need. But I'm going to save my thoughts for right now. Uh, I think that's everything that needs to be played for right now. And I'm just going to continue to mine up, get some stuff. And then I will see you guys over there. See, Bucky, you don't play with me. Oh. Okay, I'll, I'll play that in a second. I have spent the last... 10 minutes searching for one piece of silver. 
and I think it's in the outcrop that starts with an A. I've done found everything else. But silver! And that's all I want is freaking silver so I can get the compass. I got the fins. I got the, uh, the upgraded O2 take. I've been grabbing this stuff. I've been, I've been doing good. Where is silver? And also, real quick, before I play that, oh, uh, this played like in the middle of me adventuring and stuff. Yeah, so it's just. Sounds like a distress call. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. Yeah. All right, see what this is. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Oh. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. Yeah, that random f piece of floating titanium is me having a full inventory and uh, I just don't oh god I don't know where silver is why are you just floating in the middle of nothing get out of here warning 30 seconds of oxygen oh remaining. and this oh my god the this air bladder this is the greatest thing oh hello fight yeah, that's what I architect that's what I was looking for God, can I Oxygen. find it? This, I should have been using this. I did use this in my first playthrough ever. I've never used it in Subnautica, and it's so useful. It is so useful, and it's so cool. Blue! Man, I'm back on service. I get oxygen, it gets oxygen back, like... Man, golly. Well, I mean, I found my first piece of silver i want to get a couple more and then I, 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 i'll see you guys finally <laughs> at the cache over there use papers to mark traverse territory show or hide the signals of your choice with your xenomark speedy a now with surface support I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't, but I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. I must have not been paying attention. I've I've been going in circles, and I've had this scanner this whole time, so I can. All right, I have a scanner. Start scanning stuff at last. Yes, personal log. Yes. 
Oh my Jesus. God. Now I can go scare me some freaking glider pieces. In goes the battery and titanium. Now comes the scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna. And I can't wait to learn about them. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. Down here in this tunnel is great. So I remember Sea Monkey... Yeah, Sea Monkey Nest have... I need three pieces? Sea Monkey Nest has some great stuff, bro. Like, absolutely amazing stuff. So it's very paramount. You find the... See, laser cutter. Bam. What is that? Is that an egg? What am I looking at? It's a sea monkey egg. I don't have an aquarium yet. I don't even know how to get 30 one. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, no, don't worry. Oh, is this gold? I need gold. It's one of the last things I haven't found. Oh, God. Yeah, I got it. Mobile vehicle bay. Ah! You... Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. You... Oh, man. Altera beacon signature detected. Unique identifier. Delta Station dock. Delta Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. What a nice 600 oxygen. meters away. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, oh. I'll be there in a second. Terramis places one kilometer capital ship Aurora, the independent galactic news and a galactic perspective. Content has been lost with Aurora some 18 months into his journey to install phase leads in the Arni Ari Ari arm poor inside sources. Altera launching uh, the awards who much fan for almost two years ago and recently announced the ship had arrived in the destination solar system. The Aurora has reportedly now missed more than one routine check. As for a comment, a spokesperson for Altera said communication with ships outside of the face gate network can take weeks and months in ordinary circumstances and is commonly interrupted. The Aurora was in good shape and ahead of schedule the last time they checked in. We have no reason to think anything has changed. Nonetheless, our sources emphasize that Altera cannot yet explain the loss of contact, and given the exceptional value of the ship and its mission, they are taking every possible measure to reestablish contact. Shareholders will be watching closely. I'm freezing. Keen readers will remember, however, that Altera's network of directors have a history of leaking scare stories like this to the press, only for the transcript to rebound with positive news against the odds. Directors, shareholdings, and dealings are, of course, not public information. Yeah, it, uh, it's, <laughs> it don't have to be public. My boy. Because, uh, you know, how many I got? Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, it's good. I just need copper. That's six pieces. I mean, that's not a lot, but that'll work. All right, I'm gonna stuff this stuff in there and then we're gonna be right. I don't have any space. 
passing 100 meters. I know. Oxygen efficiency decreased. It's for science. All right. Yes, sir. There it is. Oh, it's so cool. So scary. Oh my god. Advanced wiring kit. New technology acquired. Ooh. Oh god, where am I? He's Was it that? Oh, I saw something else. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh, this is the uh, this place. Wait. This is that Leviathan over here, that red thing. Oh, it's one of you guys. I'm gonna scan you for size. Just don't punch me. Alright. Rock puncher. That's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Ooh, yeah, here. Ooh, what is. That a piece. Oh yeah. Mineral. Oh. <laughs> Bro, it's a handheld scatter room. That's what it is. That New thing is useful. Anything else on here? Oh, what did I just pick up? Is that a flare? I'm kind of full up. Hey, you guys want this? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad, man. Oh, bro, this is bizarre. Oh. My boys, Huey Stewie Blue, what are you doing? <laughs> yes. Good job, boys. Ah. Ah, that new paint smell. Alright, let's unpin that. Oh, unpin all. The Sea Truck is a modular aquatic navigation vehicle. For fun and function, additional modules can be attached to the back of the main cabin or detached to evade predators. Just, yeah, oh, there it is. That's all I wanted. I just wanted two pieces. Make it even, you know what I'm saying? It's very quiet. I don't know where that was. Oh, can we go down here? Oh. 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 What is that? What is that? I'm going to go this game. Warning. Passing 100 meters, this alien technology exhibits a data signature that strongly correlates with the previously recorded distress call. Interesting. How about I can use this new data to identify where that call was coming from? Oh, I didn't even know this was where I was. Signification uploaded to PDA. Oh, cool. I didn't even know I was supposed to be down here. Sweet. Structure is device and internal scans indicate a likely utility in processing extracting minerals out of the water. The device is engineered to suck water into a superheated primary chamber. As the water boils, steam is forcefully condensed back into a separate chamber that releases the processed water back into the ocean. And minerals that are left behind are gathered in the attached container module. Activation and control parameters remain unknown. Huh. It is dark, and I know I'm supposed to be going towards Delta Station, but I'm just, I'm just exploring, just a little bit, just pressing the boundaries. Chill out, Crip. I could, I ain't, I ain't over here buying nothing, homie. Part of my curiosity of. Of, of exploring over here is I I kind of remember a Leviathan being over here.
All right, I found him. That's all I wanted to know. He is over here. Oh my Jesus. Oh, I forgot how ugly you are. Bam. What is this? Sea truck fragment. Well, I could use some titanium. That would have been crazy to swim all the way over here just to get one fragment. Is it freezing? No, okay. Ah. Fred, I'm not blaming you. But what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it. It was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are, but you have to admit, there have been a lot of sea truck accidents, and they're rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you... This is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. <laughs> that voice sound familiar? Anybody? Anybody? Come on, y'all know who it is. Come on out. Come on. I feel like it is. Whoa! Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Signal location <laughs> uploaded to PDA. Uh, yeah. She, she shocked me because it's like, my I felt like my game froze. That's why I was like, oh, and then she like she walked in, so I was like, there's no point to double O. Ooh. <laughs> Multi purpose room. Ooh, jukebox. I don't know. Ooh. Huh. Wonderful. I don't New know if... A map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam worked. Uh, yeah. We're at Delta. I know Omega is over there. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like, oh, I hope you know what your Greek symbols look like. As I know, I don't. <laughs> For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies, and if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, mm. say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. 
Let me replay this one because I don't. Fred, I'm not blaming you, but what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules. I think it was cut yeah, off. Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it. It was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are, but you have to admit, there have been a lot of sea truck accidents, and they're rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. <laughs> Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids. <gasps> we used to play underwater city. Only it. sea monsters aren't pretend, and yes. I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache, kid. By the way, to be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be Sam really got under management skin. I didn't know she had it in her. Communications tower maintenance lock. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. David, you'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but. I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling Project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. All right, let's go up here and figure this stuff out. Bah, bah, bah.
tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. <laughs> I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status? In progress. Two active human life forms detected. Unauthorized havoc construction vehicle activity detected. Recommendation and observe and prepare for possible intervention. You talk about me and my friend and that awesome prawn suit that she has. Is that it? Is that all I come up here for? I mean, for right now, I know I have to come back eventually. Hold on, let me, let me go warm myself up. That's an override port. Operating manual. New employee training is recommended that all training be completed while tower is in the test mode. Test mode is fully functional. Simulate version of live mode while test mode all communication from the tower including distractions, security alerts, spot transfers will be disabled. To initiate test mode, insert the test override module into the Diana's port. As depicted in the diagram to the left, the, act the activate test mode command may be entered via the terminal once the test override module has been insuited. Am I supposed to do that? I, f I feel like I am. But I just want to have to wait till the next episode. Now, how it usually goes, first episode is a little introductory. It's a little long. Like I said, I'm trying to break this, break this series up into to more episodes. That's why it's uh, less stress and worry for me or whatever. Stress and you know, it's me. It's I'm the one that have to edit all this stuff like well, I have other stuff I gotta do and everything else going on in my life it's just oh, crazy right now. so keep um, the clutter from cluttering up too much I must space these things out and, and chop them up to make them a little bit easier to edit but it feels great to be back man it feels good I'm enjoying it hope you guys are enjoying it if you do remember leave a like comment down below some stuff you know what i mean if i'm missing some stuff i'm messing up already <laughs> feel free and uh just try to subscribe man you know what i'm saying come come join the family come join the gang man we we try to reach 100 for the end of january i think that'll be a great way to kick off 2022 um well next time you come back i will have the a little base a little establishment in uh yeah, it, it, it's, it's gonna be a little nice, just a little nice. But until then, I will catch you guys in the next.